Hello and welcome to another video with me, Rufus Gazelle, where we're on the search of yet another trig point. We are going to bag trig point number four out of 103 here in Dorset. And our starting location is in Tarrant, Gunville. We have located the footpath that I believe is one of the easiest routes to take. And the wind is quite strong today. Hopefully it's not affecting the audio too much. But over here in School Lane is where I recommend you park, just up here, but just don't upset the neighbors. And you drive up this road, which is, there's the main road down there. You drive up School Lane and here is the footpath sign that you're looking out for against this sort of like barbed wire fence and this junction box. You'll see the public footpath sign and it leads up there towards that blue garage. It is a public right of way. You will be fine if you park your car somewhere up there without, like I said, upsetting the neighbors in Tarrant, Gunville. And this is where our journey begins. We're gonna leave school lane behind and hopefully pick up the footpath just up here, which will take us about a mile to where this trig point is located. So let's get going and see if we can bag trig point number four. So as we walk past the blue garage, which is here, which you can see from the roadside, we are looking out for the public footpath. Now, I think it's gonna be quite obvious because if we look to our left, we've got some sort of public park, um, which you can see in the distance. It's got slides and swings, and I think it's got a basketball slash tennis court down there, um, and it's accessible to the general public. But here right in front of us is what we're looking for, which is blatantly obvious to anyone with a bit of common sense. A Dorset County Council public footpath, and here, footpath, to Chettle, if that's how you pronounce it. And I love this. Your community says, please pick up your dog poo, thank you. And I think that also should represent picking up your rubbish. Because here, someone has been kind enough to fly tip. Now it's not someone's rubbish, as in terms of someone's back garden when they've just left some rubbish, because there is a fence here. That is their property, this is public right of way. Someone has been cheeky enough to fly tip because they're just bone idle and lazy. Now, wow, look at that old vintage car. You don't come across that every day, do you? Not too sure what sort of car this is, but it's definitely a classic. It looks like a scimitar, maybe. I wanna say a scimitar. Don't hold me on that, but very much a classic car I wouldn't say it's abandoned in the middle of this field. It obviously belongs to someone because this is someone's property. I mean, you can see there in the distance, another vehicle up there along the hedge line. But anyway, enough rabbling on. But yeah, I think that's a scimitar. Anyway, guys, so like I said, school lane is just down there. Someone's been messing around with fly tipping, which pisses me right off. And this is the lane you want to take just down here. Very much hidden behind this big hedge, but you'll find it quite easily trust me if i can find it anyone can so let's venture on and see what we come across today hopefully this isn't going to be too tricky we'll leave the scimitar behind and uh, i'm saying it's a scimitar i may be wrong but i'm not going to enter to find out because it's not my land and to be honest i'm pretty certain it is a scimitar wow we're going into the woodland now this is uh this is looking interesting it's getting a bit dark in here so i'm just going to take my sunglasses off just so I can actually see where I'm going and I don't fall down some sort of hole. So today's trick point is gonna be an interesting one. Not gonna be as straightforward as Babri Rings, which we've just come from. Um, and the weather is slowly deteriorating. It's getting a lot more cloudier, dark clouds. Um, the wind is definitely picked up, which is gonna be interesting for the audio today. But we'll, we'll battle through and hopefully when we get up there, there will be areas where we can shelter. But that's the least of my problems. Trying to find this trick point is gonna be the biggest problem solving thing we have to do today. I've been told, I've done a bit of research, this trick point is buried within a hedge. And like I said in my last video, which I briefly touched upon, this trick point, how best can I say it? could be completely engulfed 
with shrubbery, um, leaves, hedgerows, hard to locate. And the reason why I say that is because I believe we are coming at the wrong time of year in trying to locate this trig point. I think we should have come during the winter months, maybe November, December, January, February time, when the shrubbery, the trees, and everything else is a little less aggressive on the landscape in terms of engulfing everything around us. This is looking interesting. So we have a gate and another sign. And this says, please keep to the footpath and dogs must be kept on leaves or have dogs on leads. Now the arrow is pointing to the left that way. And uh, yeah, wow, let's go through. So I guess we just follow this perimeter all the way around this, uh, around this field. There we go, leave the woods behind and let's venture on. I'm really, uh, <laughs> if I was close by, I'd be a little bit concerned that this was part of the trig point, just like buried amongst the shrubbery and that it had been destroyed. But I know for a fact it's not been destroyed, simply because I've done my research. I know it's still there and it's in good condition. It's just finding it. It's about a mile walk, I believe, from where we've parked our car in Tarrant Gunville. And, uh, oh man, this is so scenic, beautiful. This is why I do this, for things like this, just to sort of explore. And I can tell you now, for definite, that if I wasn't out bagging trig points right now and vlogging them on YouTube, I wouldn't be here looking at what I see in front of me, just pure peacefulness and tranquility. I mean, I'm literally all alone. I've got this beautiful field in front of me. It stretches out until the eye can see and I have no screaming kids. I literally am in an environment where I'm completely isolated from all the stress and the troubles that life throws at you. And I'm extremely grateful that I'm doing this for myself. Not only setting a challenge and bagging all 103 trig points in Dorset, this being number four, but the fact that I'm taking time out for myself, away from all the troubles, and this is my time. Time where I can go exploring, express my feelings, finding trig points and venturing to places where I would never probably come in my life. And this being a prime example of one of them. I would never ever walk down this lane if I hadn't been looking for this trig point. Okay, another gate. Jubilee Trail as well. 1935 to 1995. Hmm, haven't seen that before. So we've come across this junction, this farm track in front of us. Um, we've come from that direction down there. Um, as you can see from the clouds, they're not looking particularly clever. A few showers in the sky. And this track, which loops round and heads off in that direction. Now the footpath is telling us to head up there, along the boundary of that field. There is a sign just on that pillar. So I'm guessing we just literally just follow that. Okay, so as you can see behind me, we've come from over there. That's where that junction was. Um, and the sign for the footpath and we've walked along this perimeter down here and at the top part of the field you come across the entranceway here literally there and you can see we followed the path down and around the edge of the field and the junction was about there so you should be able to find this trick point and I believe we're not too far away okay so we've come out the other side um, that's the field and that's the gate there. And according to the map, the trig point is somewhere in that hedge line there, somewhere. But it's which side of the hedge I need to be on. Do I need to be on this side of the hedge or the other side? I guess there's only one way that we're gonna find out. And that is if we take a little gander over there. Okay, I may be slightly wrong. This is where I am. This is the hedge line I was on about. As you can see, it runs all the way down there. And the trig point is somewhere the other side of this hedge line in the middle of the field. Now I've come across this little gap in the hedge, which we're gonna go through in a minute. Hopefully 
we're nearly there fingers crossed okay so let's take a little scoot through here now i'm not a small chap to say the least so getting through here is going to be interesting nonetheless without getting snagged on something and getting absolutely and the camera ah oh those fawns got stuck on the camera and the microphone and on me we are through where the hell is this trig point then according to the map it's somewhere out there i'm assuming it's over in that hedge line then because i've been told it's in amongst the hedge line so it has to be over there let's take a walk and see okay correction we've just come through the hedge there and i figured it out i had another look at the map quickly just so i didn't look like an absolute amateur which i am and look like a complete fool but this is the field okay I said it was somewhere over there somewhere according to the map it's not it's this hedge line here that it's in okay I just need to walk the perimeter of this field along here and we'll come to it okay so just to summarize this field here is where we came through the official footpath gate over there somewhere and we walked along this perimeter to this hedge realizing that it wasn't in this field and that it was in this field I decided to crawl through the hedge up there even though I could have just gone here which is would have made more sense now apparently the trig point is in this hedge line here somewhere not sure if it's this side or through into the other field there so this is actually turning out to be a lot more trickier than I thought it was going to be I mean I didn't realize it was going to be this hard or this much of a struggle but as long as we bag it i'll be happy and we can't be far um it's just a decision whether or not to follow this hedge line or go through and follow the other side of the hedge line i'm not too sure but my hunch is saying to go that side i don't know why but it is so let's see if it works out that way and go through here now because i've done two vlogs today my battery on my iPhone is running very, very low indeed. So let's go and bag this before this decides to pack up on me. But like I said, we cannot be far now. I'm not sure if I'm still on a public footpath or whether I'm not, I don't know. There is no farmer to ask, but apparently it's in this hedge line here, somewhere. Where, I don't know. Man, how much further is it? I might need to just check the uh, the map for a precise location as the wind decides to pick back up again. I can see why they said about doing this in the winter, because these this hedge here probably wouldn't be as dense as it is now. But we're here now. We'll do our best. So trig point one seven seven eight is here at Burnbake, literally not far from Tarrant Gunville. And I really do believe we are nearly there. I hope. Um, the hedge is starting to open up a little bit in certain areas. So I'm hoping it's literally just along here. I am battling so hard with the wind at the moment that it's becoming, I just can't record. It's just the audio is terrible. Um, so it's died down at the moment. So I'm hoping you'll get a live reaction of me finding it because apparently I am literally meters away. Um, this isn't easy to find. It isn't easy at all. And I'm just waiting for a farmer to come over with a shotgun um, because I don't think I'm on a footpath right now. So I'm really hoping we are here. If I'm wrong, then I've really, really got this badly wrong. But yet I've got 30% left on my phone in battery and I really could do with finding this trick point very, very soon indeed. Otherwise this will all be for nothing. Come on, it's gotta be down here somewhere. I literally must be on top of it. Okay. Um, come on. Yes! <laughs> We're on the wrong side though, but we have found it. We have found it. Here it is. As we can see guys, there is the trig point 
and we need to be on the other side. We had a 50-50 choice whether or not to go this side or the other and we chose wrongly. So we somehow need to get the other side. That is a fairly long walk back, but we'll see what we can do. The things you do to bag yourself a trig point. I literally have just squeezed through that hedge. The trig point is literally just there. I did not want to walk all the way around and I think I've paid a heavy price too. The gap itself is probably quite easy for any average sized man, but I am not an average sized man. As you can see, the barbed wire is hanging. The lower run of the barbed wire is hanging so you can get underneath this one here. But my t-shirt got caught and I got caught on this one with my with my with my shoe and my shorts. So be careful, but I'm sure anyone that isn't as big as me will have no problem at all. And the trick point is in this field. It has to be this side of the hedge. Now, where we climbed through the other hedge was literally over there somewhere. And the gate for the footpath is in amongst all those trees over there. So as we walk down here, we decided to then go the other side of this hedge. And this side is the one you need to be on because here is the trig and there is the flush bracket. So make sure you choose the right side of the hedge to come down and don't do what I did. So we've bagged it guys, we finally got it. This one has a plug in it too. Wow, I suppose it is quite sheltered in this hedge line. Got the anchor points and down here, if I just move this out of the way, you've got the flush bracket. If I just move a little bit more out of the way, get a closer look, S2448. There we go, Sierra 2448 on the flush bracket. It literally is quite easy to find when you know how, but I think I made rather hard work of it. I ain't gonna lie. So there she is. We got there, we bagged it. Trig point 1778. Here at Burnbake, only a stone's throw from Tarrant Gunville, although it feels like a million miles, the route that I've taken. But she's there and she's hiding in amongst the hedge. But, like I said, as long as you walk down this side of the hedge and not the other, as long as you keep walking and walking, you will come across it. Because it sticks out like a sore thumb from this side of the bloody hedge. Try doing it from the other. And try climbing under a barbed wire fence. The things that you have to do, but we've had rain, we've had barbed wire fences, and our legs are shredded yet again. Not quite so easy as uh, Barbary Rings, but Burnbake is being logged and it's being bagged. So as we take a closer look at the map, you can see Tarrant Gunville. And as we slowly focus in on the map itself, you can see the built up area and the green line, the footpath, the bridleway that we followed and the houses where I parked. As you follow that green footpath all the way up, you keep on going, you keep on going, all the way up until we get to this junction here. Now, as we follow the perimeter of these fields, you can see the trig point and my location just below it. Now the black line that runs through the trig point and myself is the hedge line that it's hiding in. When looking at this map, you need to be on the left hand side of that black line and don't do what I did and go on the other side, the wrong side, even though it's the right side. I have to add guys that this trig point, trig point 1778 is 118 meters above sea level. And I have to also add, I've got a hell of a long walk back and I can hear tractors and I can hear farmers. So we better scarper rather quickly. And now I've got to get over this fence and back over to the footpath. And that looks like a big storm coming in. So let's just get out of here. There is literally only one way to do this. And that's the commando roll under the fence. God dear me. I hope not every trick point is like this. Right, I think we are back on the footpath now. The wind is really playing havoc with the audio. Whew, we did it guys. There's the official footpath with the official gate. And like I said, when I came through originally and I came into this field, I was a bit unsure of where to go. 
and looking behind me I followed this route all the way around and all the way down and then I cut through the hedge there but don't do that continue down right down into the corner I think it's about there somewhere but if we zoom in across from where I'm standing you can see the barbed wire fence in front of me where I uh, roly polyed under um, and that hedge behind the barbed wire fence is the hedge that the trig point is in albeit further up that way all I do know is that I'm on the right path again heading in the right direction going through the right field and uh, there we go there's the sign let's open up this gate and get back on track and following the edge of this field is pretty much now a straight run all the way back down into Tarrant Gunville back to the car back out of this rain yeah and job accomplished wow this rain really is coming down now I'm a little bit sheltered by these trees but it's definitely tipping it down this weather has really changed and I never gave my kids a rain jacket for school today thinking it wouldn't be that bad I'll be in trouble later so we're here back at the junction where we were earlier straight down there is where the footpath is going to take us back and uh, and yeah and this is the field I've just walked around and the gates over there somewhere so I ain't hanging around the wind is quite strong today and it really is tipping it down as you can see from my t-shirt we definitely uh, didn't plan this one right should have brought a rain jacket but I looked at the weather today and there was not meant to rain until about five six o'clock this evening how wrong was I okay this is a little bit more than a shower <laughs> what have I let myself in for today I'm so glad that we are heading back now and not still back at the trig point trying to find it um, this weather might have broken me slightly considering I'm in shorts and t-shirt and the weather has decided to rear its ugly face but we ain't far from the car and where there's a car there's shelter and man what an adventure this has been <laughs> you just couldn't plan it could you you just couldn't plan it I tell you what the journey back doesn't seem to be taking as long as what it was trying to find the trig point I mean I've only been walking for about 15 minutes since I left the trig point itself and uh, it's funny isn't it how when you go somewhere it always seems to feel like it takes forever but then when you're on your return journey it just flies by like that and I think that's just the the unknown element of when you are trying to find something and the rain hasn't helped on the return journey and I kid you not Badbury Ring seems a lifetime ago where I was stood on the side of the trig point up there and it was sunny it was lovely it was relaxing it was peaceful I'm not saying this ain't peaceful but it certainly ain't sunny anymore and that was only a couple of hours ago <laughs> you just missed something there that I didn't capture on camera I literally no sooner had I stopped recording that I must have stepped on nearly did it again my ankles are really weak um, and it doesn't take much for me to sprain them go over on them and there was a root sticking up out of the ground back there and I just nearly did it again and I went literally I turned the camera off and I went head first into the ground literally like that I mean I am literally like yeah you can just look at my arm where I landed I mean um, well, the other one's not so bad but yeah man I tell you what this has been probably the most adventurous trig I've had to find in terms of a lot of elements that created it or have affected it and one being the weather obviously started off glorious ended up being soaked to the brim number two was obviously trying to find it it was quite tricky to find we were on the wrong side of the hedge which obviously made it more trickier than it needed to be um, falling over back there and getting covered in absolute mud and look back here there's a scimitar so we are literally back at school lane like I said this has definitely been an action-packed vlog 
to say the least with all the elements I've listed the rain trying to find it obstacles falling over getting soaked and we're back back at the beginning so I think this is a good place to end it right back where we started there's the blue garage that you need to follow to find this trig there are other routes that you can take this is just one of about three or four that you can take to access the field with the trig point it's up to you which one you take there might be an easier option than the one I took I just might have made this look harder than what it is I always do because that's how unexperienced I am at trying to find these things but nonetheless it was so much fun and to that end guys I say vlog over